Now, here we have uh, Luna with the power of Nightshade, which gives us a very unique and interesting ability. I will show it to you after we get the green peg, obviously, and we'll see where the rest of these go. Absolutely nowhere. But uh, look what happens here. She Not only does she turn into like this badass witch thing, but it eliminates all the ugly blue pegs. Aw, oh, it just allows you to hit all the juicy ones you've ever wanted. Mmm. Mmm. And it turns all those blue pegs into bubbles. And you just throw... Throw... All of them out of the way, and not ever have to worry about those stupid, ugly, hateful blue pegs. Man, do I love this ability or what? Unfortunately, it... It has a flaw, which, um... Basically, it doesn't allow for many bounces, because technically you have less things that you're bouncing off of. So it's a give or take there, but I do like it, and I think it looks cool. So I, I, I do like Luna, she is pretty cool. And it is definitely a bit spooky in here. It's like Halloween evening. Too spooky for me, Spoderman. Um, we're running out of pegs, though. I mean balls but also pegs at the same time. So we're gonna have to figure out something here. Cause she does not give you a lot of options for good bounces. So we're just gonna have to uh, risk it. I don't know what else we can do. We're just gonna cross our fingers and hope for the worst. <laughs> We're moving on, pretending that never happened. She has a cool uh, sunflower alternate skin from the um, Plants vs. Zombies pack, and I'll, I'll pick that after we do this teddy bear on the tire swing one. If I remember. I don't know if I'll remember to do it, but we got, ooh, Nightshade for two turns. Which will make those bottom pegs really nice and easy to hit. But we also have to uh, calculate the bounces off of these orange pegs here. Well, it's in nightshade, which is it's difficult to do. It's difficult to um, strategize when you're in nightshade if uh, the bouncing is going to be... See, I was off there, but nevertheless, I did get a lot of cool bounces. We got an extra turn of uh, nightshade, and so that was helpful. Ooh! Denied! And she did her little hair flip. How cute. Stupid blue. Oh, the lightning was in the shape of a teddy bear. I didn't even realize that until just now. I've never actually realized that, and I've played this game a lot now. With her, especially, because I do, I do really, really enjoy that nightshade. So, here we go. Boom, boom, biggity boom, bam. Get out of the way. We're moving forward. I told you before, I know some of these I'm failing the first try. And that's the part of the game. But I told you, I'm just, just here to move this. My whole objective is just to move through it. Get through it. And if I fail, I'll go back and try it later. I promise. Alright. Uh, swamp of Totally Harmless Lights. Uh, Sounds like a lie. What did I say I was going to do? The sunshine of my life right here. With the sunflower in the darkness. Just, I don't, I'm not sure if that makes a lot of sense. It would have made more sense if she was a zombie, but I get it. I get why they did it. It's ironic. It's funny. It's complimentary. It's conquistadors and all kinds of things. Get in the ring! Everybody, get ready to room ball. Get these blues. Why why do things have to be blue? Blue's bad color. Orange and green and purple are good colors. Blue's bad colors. And that ball is stuck there in the middle. 
Sometimes I sometimes I call the balls the pegs and I sound like an idiot, but it's only because I truly am an idiot, but I got the free ball. It was a twenty eight thousand uh, dollar grand prize. Uh, thank you, um, Pat St. Jack for that. Uh, uh, ewing out, ewing out. I saw another game show the other day that I've never seen. It's called eight, uh, It's called Five Hundred Questions. I almost said Eight Hundred Questions. Jeez, that would even be longer. But Five Hundred Questions, and I was like, damn, this show's gonna take forever. I don't, they need to change. That's how that show's gonna fall apart. They're gonna be like, damn, this episode is taking way too long. <laughs> or this, this season. It's gonna be like one guy answering Five Hundred Questions, and then they'll be like question number 500 and he gets it wrong and then loses like what the fuck what are you gonna do then get that stupid blue out of the way like what did they do they just lost all that television time I mean they don't care because they're making money anyway but like what the heck I'm just wasting my life for like 13 episodes to see this guy fail at life which is kind of funny <laughs> I'm a failure <laughs> I'm over it the fuck was that? What are those noises? Uh, I thought that was happening in real life. I was like, what the, what the hell? She just popped her face. Whatever. Let's end it. Let's get some extra bounces on the way. Who cares? Straight into the 50. As long as we're moving forward with uh, Luna and the extra balls, total points of 250, 30, 358,000. We're moving. Friendly high balls. Let's do this one. This one looks cool. Aw, oh, she looks like a homeless girl. I'd do it. I mean, um, what? Oh, baby. Look at those eyeballs. Let's bounce right off them. Ah, what the heck? It like glitched in there. Why is she thinking about peanuts? It's inappropriate, Luna. That was a weird glitchy bounce, but we're not going to question it if it helps me, so. Ooh, free ball. Let's aim for these ones that are like weird and hard to get first. With the nightshade, I think that's the objective. Oh my god, the free balls. You're really helping me out. Thank you. Nice bounce there. Straight into that group of pegs. Uh... Blink, boink, boink. Free, these, I am getting so many free balls right now, I don't even know what to do. Nice. Nice and friendly. Ooh, ooh, nightshade for two turns. I'm gonna have to go through the, for this one right here. No, oh, I'm not even doing this on purpose, people. Look at her, she looks evil over there. On the corner of the screen. Ghost touch 10,000 multiplier. Look at all the points and the things and the oh my goodness gracious great balls and pegs of fire. Now what are we going to do? We're going to have to do some fancy, fancy smants, pants, dance. Okay, so it's under the thing. <gasps> It's all about timing, baby. Straight into the hundred thousand. <gasps> Boom! That was so like precision. Like that was like LeBron James at the last second with the LeBron James vines going crazy.